Good morning, I'm Jason Cameron. Education Minister Barry Pullen is meeting angry teacher unions today in an attempt to head off further industrial action over budget cuts. This morning, teachers protested outside Labor Minister Neil Pope's office in Montrose as their campaign of rolling stoppages affected schools in Melbourne's east. The unions are planning meetings to consider further industrial action. Mikhail Gorbachev and his new government are fighting a desperate last-minute battle to stop the disintegration of the Soviet Union. As CBS News reports, their main concern is the vital Ukrainian Republic. A sense of panic crept into the Kremlin today, with Soviet republics one after another breaking away from the Union. Legislators decided it was finally time to act. This morning, an emergency delegation was dispatched to the Ukraine, the second largest republic, which has used the country's turmoil to declare its independence. But a few hours later, the delegation was jeered on the steps of the Ukrainian parliament. Ukraine without Moscow, the crowd chanted. Overnight, in another Soviet republic, Azerbaijan, another statue of Lenin was brought to the ground. Azerbaijan's declaration of independence is expected any day. Meanwhile, 13 conspirators in the failed coup were formally charged with high treason today. And inside KGB headquarters, the new chairman, Vadim Bakatin, has already begun dismantling the organization. In New York, police say the driver of a speeding subway train which crashed killing five people has failed a blood alcohol test. Earlier, investigators found a crack cocaine vial in the driver's cabin. He's been charged with manslaughter. Passengers have described a wild midnight ride beneath Manhattan as the train overshot stations and finally derailed. 150 people were injured. Our weather, windy showers developing atop of 16. And that's all the news for now. Updates during the afternoon. Good morning. Television Victoria News, regional Victoria's leading hour and a half of news and current affairs from 6 p.m. tonight. Saturday night, the Brisbane Bears will be out to give their hometown crowd a win when they meet Footscray for the last time this season. Don't miss the action live from 8.30 on Vic TV. Very, 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 rough. Right, yes. very rough crowd. All right, Thursday the 29th of August. Any birthdays today? Yes. Birthday 21, eh? Close. 21. <laughs> 21 third time. 20, no, no. 21 third time? Yes. Really? Oh, you don't. What? All right, thank you, Bev, for telling me. <laughs> thank you. Happy birthday over there. <laughs> Happy birthday to our producer's little boy, Reese, who's uh, one today, too. He's. Uh, and my father in law's one today, so. I think uh, Ingrid, <laughs> Ingrid Bergman, was it Ingrid Bergman born today as well? Yeah. Lots of good people born today, terrific people. If you're having a birthday, happy birthday. Geoffrey, take that red nose off, please. It's what? not red nose day until tomorrow. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. It was, it was an honest mistake, Jeff. I'm sorry. I guess every day is um, red nose day for you, isn't it? <laughs> Go on, get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Jeff's wife. What's your wife's name? Catherine. No, no, Katrina. Katrina. Katrina, <laughs> Katrina tells me that the piano was uh, was his second musical choice. That Jeffrey really wanted to be a violinist, but he kept hitting his um, w w with with the bow. <laughs> we do have some wonderfully oh, talented. Vi Look, you'd only say this about mates, can't you? If he wasn't. Are you a mate, Jeff? Certainly not. <laughs> <laughs> We've got some wonderfully talented violinists for you today when we welcome the Melbourne's youngest performing chamber orchestra, the Carinia Strings, there with us. Other great music too from Rachel Beck and Johnny Nicole. Mates, we'll uh, stir the pot when we discuss blokes who, like their car, tend to trade in their superseded wife on a newer model. It works in reverse too if your name is Elizabeth Taylor, of course. Talking of wonderful things in the kitchen, 
like husbands, with all the chops and cuts and dices and shreds and slices, we've got Joe the Gadget Man with us today. And if lately you're sick of swallowing politicians' promises, how about the return of the man who can swallow just about anything, anything from light bulbs to goldfish? We've had him on a couple of times before. He's quite sensational. Then he regurgitates all of it back on command. <laughs> Scotland's amazing Stevie Stars with us today. Not something we recommend you try at home and certainly not something that kids should try. There again, talking of danger, my first guest is a dangerous man. He hurls jokes at a furious pace. His barbed wit could, I guess, draw blood. He reckons his latest effort will make you laugh until it drives you mad. His last book certainly did. Not content with being Britain's top stand-up comedian, award-winning television comedy writer and box office hit playwright, he's written a follow-up to his best-selling book, Stark. That, uh, this new one has knocked Geoffrey Archer's uh, off number one. It's number one in Britain, and it looks like repeating that right here in Australia. Would you welcome, from London, via Melbourne these days, the man behind the motor mouth, Ben Elton.